keep saying this, but it is, it's, this is pretty quick. Oh, yeah, there we go. Sorry, had a little panic attack there. Uh, let's just save as. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on. I save as this. Sorry. Yeah, right now, save as. <clears throat> what number is this? 18. What are you doing? 18. No, that's 19. 18. 2017. Oh, hello. Where are you going? Where are you going? So I've been playing. <laughs> been playing Overwatch. So that's one of the characters sounds like that. Eight, yeah, that's it. If you played Overwatch, there's a guy with a bow and arrow. That sort of sounds like that. Mm -hmm. Where are you going? That's a terrible impersonation. <clears throat> right. Okay. So we have a cow. Believe it or not, in World of Cow, we have a cow. And do the eyeballs first. And this cow is a nonchalant. All right, let's do, do, do. So yeah, I mean, it's all to do with uh, certain visual clues you're giving to the audience and <laughs> the droopy eyes like that, the heavy eyes and like the ears are coming down so it's all droopy, everything's being dragged down, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. So this, uh, this cow is just getting on with her business. She doesn't even know what her business is, she just does it. You know, it's just do 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 day to day. She doesn't have a list. She just does what she uh, you know wants to do, she's got no agenda that she knows of. She doesn't even know what an agenda is. <laughs> that's the sort of cow she is. Uh, that's a bit big. That's a bit big. So make it a bit smaller. Make it a bit smaller. Sorry. <clears throat> um, quite pleased. I <laughs> I'm a bit of a sad though. I play Pokemon Go. I take my dog for a walk. Walk about 5k a day, probably more than that really. And when I'm walking around the park, I'm picking up Pokemons left, right, centre. Having a great time. They got new ones. They had new ones, new cute ones. So it's, I feel quite sorry for the old ones because when you see an old one, you're like, oh, I don't want that, I want a new one. So uh, yeah, it, it, you forget. When I first uh, did it, when it started you know, working properly, um, you got a little sort of buzz because you know everything was new. But uh, then it kind of wears off and you're just, oh, now I'm leaving him, leaving him or her, whatever. I don't know what sex they are, actually. Um, if they indeed have sex, um, they just grow, don't they? And, um, yeah, so it was, uh, it's got exciting again. Wandering around Moat Park, hunting for little critters. Uh, yeah. I've done <laughs> I got a little medal the other day. I've walked a thousand kilometres. <laughs> yeah. Probably, obviously, I've walked more than that. But when it's been switched on and what have you, in the park, just going, you know, my little 5k a day with my dog. 1,000 kilometres since, I don't know, September, whenever it came out. I'm blue, blue team. <clears throat> there was a nest of pon ponitas. <laughs> someone's someone's really into it. Said there's a nest of ponitas in Moat Park. And I know <laughs> this young lad is like what? <laughs> yes, I, I'm sad. I'm sorry. Right, so cow. But you know, I've always been into gaming. Um, used to play. Uh, I was in a in a clan, um, playing hook and rail on, um, what was it, 
Oh, the... Oh, uh, oh. Quake. Quake Arena. I think it was the third Quake. Hook and Rail. That was awesome. Right. I think online gaming at the time was just... When it first sort of happened. Just couldn't get your head around it. Looking at everyone's pings. Pings. <sighs> right. Anyway. So we got this cow. Um, yeah, so she's just, yeah, I'll tell you what. Oh, I've got a head on another level. So, move it around. I'm happy with that. And what I'll do is, as I am a lazy person, I will. Hang on a sec. I will. Give you Things get smaller the further away they get kids, okay? Remember that basic bit of advice from me. There you go. You've learned something today. Uh, another handy hint, another handy hint, another fact is a group of owls is called a parliament. There you go. You've learned something else. Um, So, there's this cow. Mind her own business. And on another layer, I'm gonna do it on another layer, there's another cow. All right. This is a really stupid joke. I'm hoping it's so stupid it's funny because it's not funny. I don't know. It's I quite I quite like it. Oh, oh, and she's sort of doing this. So it's squeezing the old eyeball. Right. Uh, it's got a hat on, a spy hat on, you know. All spies wear these hats. That's how you can tell they're spies. Oh man, yeah, I remember, uh, ooh, a long time ago, there was a game called Spy vs. Spy. Wow. And it was uh, based on the, the mad spy characters. And they, these mad spy characters, I never liked the way they were drawn. They were sort of just triangles with glasses on and this, this sort of pointy hat. Um, they, the, the joke was they were tr just trying to kill each other. So it's sort of Roadrunner, they set traps and things. And it was the genius ideas of, you know, how they were trying to kill each other, which was funny. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's you know, it was funny. I just didn't like the way it's drawn. Uh, apologies, but you know, whoever drew it, I, you know, I just didn't dig it. You know, um, but there was a, a game where the the entire game was you were a spy, one of the spies, and you were setting traps for the other spy, who was in turn setting traps for you. So it was, it was. Um, oh, there goes a the doggy. Hello, doggy. Um, yeah, it was it was all about trying to outwit one another. Uh, that's a really good game. I wonder what that was with. Oh, probably the Amiga, something like that. God. Wow. Oof. Yeah, that they used to have cart. I don't know if that was one of those games, uh, the Amiga games. I don't think it was a PlayStation. I think it was before then. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, I love the hats, you know. Whoa, I've got a message. If I'm at my mum and dad's and that goes off, they both go, what was that? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's kind of nice. How much does it cost you for the internet? <laughs> hey, if you're watching mum, I apologise. Apologies, that's what I said. Apologies. Right, so telling a secret. And this this joke, I drew this character just doing this, right? 
and I didn't didn't have a joke for it. I just drew it and flicking through it, I looked at it and I come up with a, a little gag. And it's like, yeah, nothing's wasted, even if it's a stupid idea or a stupid drawing. It might trigger something in you, you know. So just doodle, doodle crap, you know, and then come back to it later, like a day or so later, or even a year. I mean, I've got loads of material, and um, someone asked me uh, to come up with little sort of animated shorts. Two two minutes was the brief. He, he said, and um, I had some stuff I did for something else. And uh, which is about five years old, and I, I managed to come up with a different idea using those sort of setups, roughly, to build something else from that. It's like a little foundation I've built for myself. So it's not wasted. So my advice to any cartoonist or what have you budding cartoonist. Have a little uh, like notebook, like these, one of these. I've got loads of loads and loads and loads and loads of stupid little sketches. Right. Um, <laughs> I've got one, a cow like that, and I've written, I'm sure there's a funny caption for this, so it's one of those, you know, and um, Keep, keep drawing, just draw, 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 draw. Uh, even if you're not good at drawing, you might find you're good at writing. And then what you do is you find someone who's good at drawing and you ask them if they want to draw your jokes. Maybe they don't come up with jokes. So get in touch with them on Twitter, Facebook, whatever, and uh, become a partnership. Right. So I'm doing a sort of equal. So the hands up this side, and this 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 arms up or down that side. So it's kind of like a cantilever. Balances out. She's leaning forwards. And you got to think about how you would um, how you would stand. You know, just to, to make it. Uh, oh, it's doggy again. Hello, doggy. Um, hang on. Yeah, obviously it's cartoon, but it has to have some. It has to read properly in order for it to work. Um, you're telling a story, and uh, we're all based in this reality, apart from. Mr. Don, Don, Trump, Trump, who's in his own reality, but let's leave him there. Um, and see, so she's leaning forward, so her udders are just trailing back. So when your hair, when you do that, your head goes like this, and your hair goes, hey, hey, what's going on? I want to catch up, and it, it does that. And then when you hit that area and go back, the hair is still trying to catch up with you and goes like that. See? So, Anyway, so that's what I'm doing there. So that, that gives the drawing motion. Not a lot, but she's like, pssst, like this. Watch your glasses. Oh dear, right, anyway. Motion. Oh, I'm gonna sit down and watch telly in a minute. So here we go, here we go, here we go. Yeah. So, as she's putting all her weight on oh, this leg, this leg is bending thusly. And it's slightly more stressed than this leg. This leg is slightly relaxed. So it's just selling the pose. So you've got to think about it. Okay, crazy times.
We had uh, went to a quiz night last night, and it was held by these two Danish, D- Danish Dutch people. They kept going on about their. There was loads and loads and loads of bloody questions about the Netherlands, and uh, one of them, and he's like, "Oh, God's sake!" Was the literal translation of this country is lower lands. And go, oh. <sighs> I don't know. Just, just do a quiz. No film questions. No history questions. No, no. What was I say? No sports questions. I mean, what sort of quiz is that? Come on. Right. So this cow's way too big. Film questions. You need film questions. Come on. Lots of art, no literature. Hello. Anyway, art and literature. That would have been good. Stop moaning, they don't care. <laughs> so, uh, yes. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. So, grass. Grass? Yeah, I don't know. Mm. Hang on a sec. Hang on. Hang on. Turn that off. Turn that off. Turn that back on, please. Like, I think I've done him too small. Though. Let's get rid of him. Maybe that's all right. Maybe that's maybe that's okay. Um, there's a wibbly wobbly line here. See that? Go sort of flat. Always, just you know, check your work. Be critical. But don't, you know, start beating yourself with um, lettuce leaves or anything. Just do it better. <laughs> it's easier said than done. Uh, I've had critiques and uh, I felt like my mum's died or something. Um, my little heart broke. <laughs> it's not, I'm not good enough. But you just got to pick yourself up, dust yourself off and get better just do it better marginal gains get better every day just get a little bit better every day and you do you do you do the more you practice the better you get so do it yeah stop sitting there picking your nose it's funny actually um you think you haven't got any ideas until you actually sit down and just just work it work that blank page you know work it hard and you you will come up the first hour you will come up with dross and then and then you will start you know it might not be brilliant but you start coming up with with sweet little ideas maybe I think you your brain it's almost like um, you know uh, what's it called when you go into a cave Um, uh, your, your senses are starved and you start hallucinating I think it's almost like that, you know. <laughs> oh, can you hear my son, my son screaming his head off? <sighs> he's playing a very good game. I hope he's playing a good game. <laughs> Otherwise, he's mad. That's the trouble, with, you know. People uh, on the Bluetooth walking around chatting. <laughs> and we wouldn't know it. A bit like They Live. Watched that not so long ago. Uh, John Carpenter movie. Dreadful movie. But the actual idea of these sort of aliens uh, influencing what we do by. Um... Oh dear. Anyway. Right, okay. Let's get on with this. Stop talking about John Carpenter. Uh, right, so let's colour this bad boy up. Very simple, 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 simple joke. Some of the best jokes are, I'm not saying this is one of the best jokes, I'm just saying some of the best jokes are, um, this, this, I, I like this joke. I will defend it. <laughs> if you don't like it, I'm sorry. Not a lot I can do about it. Just don't look at it. Look, some, look at something else. Grow up. Get alive. Um, okay, so. Uh, brown hat. I think red. And what I'm going to do is 
a shadow here. Sorry about the bad French accent. This looks a bit, yeah, a spy. She's a spy. Um, okay, hang on a sec. So a little shadow there. Maybe just, yeah, a little uh, grey one there. And let's just do the others. Here we go. Oh, uh, there we go. Uh, uh, oh dear, goofy. Actually, one of the best um, animations. Well, not at. I tell you, if you're learning to drive, um, there's a goofy cartoon. I think it's called Mr. Driver and Mr. Walker, or Mr. Walker and Mr. Driver. And that taught me how to get um, onto motorways. <laughs> really did. Made me unafraid of motorways, that cartoon. I hope you can't hear that. Ah <sighs> dear. Back to school tomorrow. <laughs> uh, I'll have the house to myself again. Thank God. Bloody kids. Um, right, um, okay, so yeah, I've, I've got, uh, uh, I'm going to a comic convention in Maidstone at the Star Arcade next Sunday, I'll be selling my comic, the Robonauts, Robonauts, ah, oh, there's colour and everything, I've written it, there's going to be about 11 issues, something like that, 12 issues, I'm writing the, the second one now and uh, I'll be selling it on a little stall, 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 I'm trying to say stall, not stool, stall, anyway, our language, crazy isn't it, um, right, anyway, so if you want to, you want to uh, see me, I'll be there from uh, half ten. Come and buy my comic, and then and then once I sell enough, I'll be able to invest that in the next issue, which will be great. Right, so hang on a sec. Just do a little shadow, just to place them on a sort of plane, so it doesn't look like this. Just float in there, you know, and. Oh, this is a really dumb joke, but you know, what the hey ho? Let's do those grey, just knock them back a bit. Um, bum, bum, bum. Um, yeah, I'll just under her nose, just to give her a bit of shape. I don't like it being too complicated. I don't want it to interfere with the terrible joke I'm about to do. Right. Oh, and under the eyes, I think. Again, that just gives it, it sort of seats it, grounds it into the face. Just a nice little detail. Yeah, that's nice. And actually, just going to pick out a bit of white underneath the nostrils. Because I feel like it. But that's, um, again, you hardly see it, but you do, you pick up on it and uh, it just makes it more 3D. Not that I want it too 3D. Anyway, I'll shut my face. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Just forgot that. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's all right. So, here's the joke. Oh, I'll just save it. Here's the joke. Are you, are you ready? Strap yourselves in. Psst. The grass is oh, is a plant oh yes get it it's really stupid I know I know I know <laughs> poor old George poor old George I love him and pet him and I will call him George 
Didn't realise that comes from... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, man. There's a play, isn't there? It kills everything. I will hug him and pet him. <clears throat> I first um, saw that on Bugs Bunny. Oh, what's it called? He's called George, isn't he? He's super strong. Oh, man. My kids loved it. Oh, what's it called? Doesn't matter. Anyway. There you go. There's a joke. Psst. The grass is a plant. Come on, that's good. Ish. <laughs> right. Okay, guys. I'm off. Um, yeah, if you want to help me out on Patreon, it's Stick Tunes. Um, you've seen the dog run past. Uh, that's... Go to Patreon, Stick Tunes. That's me. And uh, you want to follow me on Twitter. That's Stick Tunes as well. Uh, go on Zazzle, put in stick tunes. I've got like t-shirts and things with cow stuff on there and what have you. Um, that's it. Okay, have a nice weekend. I'm going to have a glass of wine. And uh, thanks for watching. And I'll do one of these uh, in the weekend, I think, because I'm super busy at the moment, which is good. I get paid. I can, I can eat soup. See you later. Bye.